I've got some stuff for mailbag here. Let's see what I purchased this time. Even I don't remember. Right, what's in this one? Right. Got some more of these little jumper pins for hitters, male hitters, so you've got female jumpers. Some more of those. Seen some of those previously in different colours. Right, what's in this one? To it. Oh. Okay, these are some uh, MacBook Pro hinges. Of course, sure I will purchase these. I think I had a MacBook with maybe a yeah. Oh, I've got a MacBook with a weak hinge. That's right. My 30 inch. I've got oh, was it 2008 or something? 2009 MacBook. Um, the hinge is quite weak, so that the screen tends to flop around a bit too easily. I thought oh, I'll get some hinges because you know these are obviously refurbs. You know these are pull off old laptops when they get uh, scrapped in China. I don't mind that, so two sets of those. So I can replace two hinges. What's in this thing? Yeah. Let's open it to here. Okay. Right. Get clear off it. Maybe get it so you can fit it on screen. Here we go. John Wick 2. Now, this has been out for a while, obviously, John Wick 2. I haven't seen it yet. I've seen John Wick. Really enjoyed that movie. It was pretty good. This is John Wick 2, obviously. Now, the reason I've got this is because John Wick 3 has just been released. It's at the movies right now. And I want to go and see it. But you shouldn't really, you know, I can't really go and see it until I've seen this one first, really, because otherwise it won't make much sense, I'm pretty sure. So... I thought well, I'd better buy this then, so I'll watch that and then I can go and see the new one that came out. I bet that's a pretty good movie too. I hope so. I quite like Keanu Reeves. Does some good stuff. Alright, what's in here? Oh. MacBook. Oh, okay. Right. Yes, 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 yes. So we got some tools for doing screen replacements and the reason for that is because this will be a screen full package at least wipes dust absorber hmm, cool and here's the screen Now this should be for a um, iPhone 5C, which I have sitting right here. I was asked to fix this for someone because, as you can see, it's a bit broken, and it can't even turn the thing off. You have to, I had to let the thing go flat because it's all cracked and everything. So we, um, I saw Krogan's broken, so it's completely stuffed. So this screen should be the right one for this, with a bit of luck, and um, I can replace and give to the guy. Be pleased, I'm sure. Let's have a look at these things, see what's in here. You might be interested. I hope so. What's in here? It's a roll of solder. This is uh, silver, remember rightly? I'll try some out. I haven't tried the silver one before. I think it's a silver one. Try making sense of that. SN62 3C 0.46mm. I think it was silver, I can't remember. Might have to look it up. But I've ordered a few different solders recently, this is say it's 0.46mm. So I'm trying to get some finer stuff because what I've got here is um, normally is, is just a bit thick, so it's really fine there. It's good. I've ordered some other stuff as well, which is even finer. So this is what I normally use. Which is uh, 1.2 mil. That's a bit thick. It's all right for most things, but um, the finer stuff's better. So yeah, that's from. Um, where do I get that from? Element 14. Because RS won't sell me certain types of solder anymore. You know, if it's got lead in it, they won't sell it to me. So uh, if I want anything leaded, 
get it in the or fine or whatever you want to call it. That's all we have from. It's a little USB tester. Knife, my shite, no manual. Well, oh, that's a USB tester. It shouldn't really be quite much of a manual, should it? It's only USB 2, no USB 3. Let's have a close look. So here you go, here's the unit. We'll plug it in, give it a try up. We'll chuck the load tester on it and see if it actually powers up okay and see what kind of current it will display compared to the load tester. Although I've got no idea how accurate this is, I haven't actually tested the accuracy of it yet. But we'll give it a go. So see what's displaying there. It's displaying 5.21 volts. If I plug in my other unit here, which unfortunately is the other way up. So power that up and flip it over so you can read it. That says 5.18 volts. So there's a discrepancy in voltage. Anyway, we'll plug the load tester in. Run through both units, because why not? And that says 5.15 volts. Alright, so that says well, 4.16. This now says 5.16, and that one says 5.2. So, yeah, at 0 0.3, 0 0.4 volts out, or 0 0.04 out. This is set for 1 amp, see what happens. 0 0.96 it says. This one says 0.98. Yep, so they're pretty close, it's, it's reasonable. Voltages, so it's 4.82 there. This one's saying 4.7. Bit of a drop difference, but yeah, and they're saying 4.6. So it's probably a bit of voltage drop across the boards and through connectors and stuff like that, too. So it seems to work alright. It's a nice clear display. It's certainly an easier display than this one. I mean, you compare the two. Alright, you can see which one's easier to see there. It's definitely a lot easier, although you have to get it right way up all the time. So this gives you data line information. We'll just do push the button. I think it just resets it. Yeah. Seems to just reset. Simple one, wasn't that expensive, but I think there'll be links down for this in the description. So if you're interested in little USB chesters, I mean this is quite a little and that's a nice display on that, quite like that, even though it's fairly small. It's nice and easy to read. So the links for this in the description. It's also got a micro USB on there as well. Maybe it's a alternative power source. Maybe you can use either cable maybe. I don't know. Or maybe it's just like that one. Just uh, on this side. But yeah, check links out if you're interested in buying stuff like that. It helps me out because I, I get a commission. It doesn't cost you any more. And it just helps to fund the channel. So, Alright, moving on. Let's see what's in here. Seems to be a few cables. I think that's all right. Yep. <coughs> so these are LCD cables for MacBooks. The reason I've got these is because I've got a machine which has a bad cable. I can't remember if these are the same ones or not. I think I did all the different types for different machines, like different lengths. Yeah, that was slightly different length. So these two are different. I think it's like 13 and 15 inch or something like that. I think I've got. I think that's what I purchased anyway. Because I've got one which has got a bad cable. Which has mean it's got no backlight. It's voltage going to the backlight. Backlight is not coming on. So um, I'm pretty sure it's a bad cable. I pulled the thing apart to replace it. I've took the, like the, the, the uh, perspex off the front of the screen and everything. Stripped it down. Then realised, oh, I don't have the right cable. And they put it all back together again. And that was a bit annoying. Anyway, so now I've got the right cables. Not overly exciting, but yeah. You'll see a video on that soon, once I've done it. Let's see what's in here. I've got absolutely no idea. We'll find out. And this looks interesting. Two of them, whatever it is. Oh yes, I'm going to look like a nerd. 
I'm going to look like a nerd. Right. And yet the other package is the same thing. Magnifying visor. I saw someone else had these on the channel not long ago actually, and thought, oh yeah, I'll get one of them. Well, in fact, I thought, well, actually, I'll get two of them. The reason being, my wife has been doing a lot of um, needlework and cross stitch stuff, and she's, she's you know, it's like her hobby. And she's been finally getting some time recently to do a little bit of that. But she's having to use like a magnifier, desk magnifier thing, which I purchased her a little while ago as like a present to help her out. But she needs sometimes just something better. So I thought, well, I'll get these because someone had these things and they're like adjustable somehow. This is like the headband part. Loosen this off. It's a bit tight. Try and loosen this off, bloody hell. Maybe I can't loosen it off. <laughs> well, okay. So you stick it over your head. That's the back, that's the front. So that's really kind of should be, I think. And then you can look through those and see what magnification you get. And it's got this extra base on here, which gives you even extra magnification. I'm sure the one I had had some, like a, is that it, there? Looks like an extra piece or something. There we go. Alright, that's what it is. So you've got three levels of magnification on this thing. So you've got these ones here as the basic. And then you've got this flip down thing here, which gives you the next level. And then you've also got this other little detail one here, which obviously only in one eye. So, I don't know how good these are. Let's stick them on, let's find out. Let's look like a complete nerd. Nerd. Well, that's, I'd say, it's, at an estimate, it's about three times magnification, but it's quite blurry unless you're quite close to it. So this is getting shot here, so I'm try and show you how it is. Right, so, ignore the nudeness. Now, for here, that's blurry. Blurry, in focus there. In focus there, yeah, and about there's blurry. So you've got a working distance of sort of there, there with that magnifier let's stick the other lens down working distance gets shorter that's in focus there so there to there must right up so this is you have to be really close to it with this and then we've got this other piece here which that's huge magnification um, and that is like Focusing is sort of there. Yeah, if I try and do it from my finger so I can give you a better idea. That's focused. That's not. That's a really small walking distance with both sets of lenses down inside. Let's pop one up. Choose that one by itself without the second lens. They're sort of there to there. So the working distance gets a bit better. Or if I pop it down completely, can I go past the other one? You can kind of have it almost below the other lens, so you can see it's under here. Yeah, kind of need to measure those distances actually. Let's go take a measure. Right, let's try and get some measurements to get you give you something which makes sense. So I'll go from the front of the visor, eh? Rather than from my eyes, because that's you know asking for trouble. So I can actually look down the ruler actually. So looking down the ruler, from the front of the visor, I'd say it's in focus from about probably eight centimeters from the front of the visor down to about probably 14, 13, 14 is where it starts to go blurry there. All right, and that's with the single um, magnifier on there. So I did a dual magnifier. Same test again. And that is about six centimeters really sharp, six to eight centimeters. You might say five to eight really. And then it starts to go blue each side of that. And then with this one, which I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna get, get that one in there, but that is really short distance. That is um, about probably
four to five centimeters. So it gives you an idea of the working distance at least. So, but it's got the little LED lights on there as well. So, yeah, the main reason I got this is because sometimes you don't need a microscope. You know, a microscope will get you there, but sometimes it's a bit much, and sometimes you just want to work in front of your face with stereoscopic vision. Because with a microscope, I don't have that because it's a digital microscope through a monitor, so I don't have that stereoscopic vision, which sometimes helps. So. I saw this, I can't remember whose channel it was, I saw it on now. Was it Gadget Reboot or Learn Electronics? Or, no, I don't think it's Learn Electronics. I can't remember, I can't which channel I saw it on now. But um, yeah, so I thought, oh great, I'll look those up and um, yeah, it's all right. So the working distance is a bit shorter than I like. It just gives me another option. I did buy some stuff years ago which I now can't find, which is why another reason I wanted to get this. I did buy some like glasses with different lenses, but those were really restrictive. You know, you had like a ten tunnel vision kind of thing. So I thought, well, these give you at least broad vision. It gives you, you know, perspective in a in a better way, rather than looking through tubes. And um, so I thought well, this is probably better. And I think it actually is. I also look like a nerd. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I am a nerd, but yeah, yeah.